Okay, welcome back for another episode, and we have got Uprising, and there's quite a bit to get through here. We've obviously got the two uh, matches that we announced in the last episode, or the one before. Um, for main event was announced um, a rematch from Spring Stampede, Kurt Hennig, uh, Hulk Hogan, Lash LaRoe, and Scott Steiner in a four-way for world title, which Hennig's uh, going to win again. Shane Douglas um, was called out by Sean Stasiak, and uh, he's going to, or oh, the other way around, I can't remember which, uh, but Shane Douglas is going to fight him um, and put his US title on the line, and he's going to uh, regain that title. So, we've got um, a few interesting things here. I've recreated two stables, one of which you will see here, and... I really, I thought for Dark Carnival in WCW had a lot of potential and did a little bit of research on them and I have recreated a new stable called New Dark Carnival and uh, Vampiro and Great Muta making his debut, they are going to sort of be the main guys of this stable and uh, this is a turn angle where Vampiro is going to align himself with Muta because Vampiro is a face, don't forget. But this is going to be a heel stable, and um, the other members are going to be for Road Warriors. I thought they'd fit in well, and also Bradshaw, who has just joined WCW, who's going to beat Conan cleanly later on. Conan being part of a new, newly reformed uh, Filthy Animals, which will appear on Showdown. Uh, but that's going to consist of Conan, Kidman, Chavo, and the Alter Boys. So uh, really excited about this. They're going to be face stable. Get them to feuding. Um, and we've got a turn angle here, making Hardcore Holly a face by uh, helping his brother or cousin Crash um, being attacked by Bam Bam, which will lead to a match between Hardcore Holly and Bam Bam at uh, Showdown. So what else have we got going on? Well, we've got a new feud starting up here. Scott Steiner is going to start feuding with Buff Bagwell. So he's going to attack Buff Bagwell backstage before his title match here. Uh, we've also got two tag teams making their debut as well as Bradshaw. So there is a lot happening. Skipper and Romeo are going to beat for Ray Cheese, which is Adam Flash and Danny Rose. Uh, so I'm really excited to see how they'll do. And Flair and Crowbar are going to beat for Haas Brothers, Charlie Haas and Russ Haas. So there we go. So what we've got here is uh, what I feel will be a fantastic show. So let's get straight to it. And I'm really pleased with that. First uh, match for Rachie's good match quality. That's what we expect. And an overall rating of 69%. Um, I really think Flash and um, Rose will be a good team, a good addition to the Cruiserweight tag division. Vampiro's turn was completed. He's now a heel. Vampiro gained overness, so that's good. Uh, Muta's very over as well. They'll work together to achieve their goals. Uh, another good match for Haas Brothers versus he Flair and Crowbar. For Haas Brothers getting their revenge afterwards. So there we go. And uh, they're a heavyweight tag team. Charlie and Russ Haas. And uh, Russ Haas, I, I just recently signed. He's got really good statistics and I think he's got a lot of potential. 61%, Hardcore Holly's turn was completed, he's now a face, and he gained overness from this, but it only got 61% overall, but um, the aim was to have Hardcore Holly turned, so that is uh, successful. Bradshaw making his debut uh, by beating Conan, uh, clothesline from hell, and uh, that's got him uh, started with his life in WCW. Stacey Keebler is going to be backstage with Mike Awesome giving an interview about Sid Vicious, who's a current hardcore champion. Sting and Who Morris. Um, I probably should have put a cruiserweight match on instead of this. Uh, I thought they'd do all right, but 
dis- even though Sting was sluggish, a still disappointing score that um, by far for uh, least my least favourite segment of the show or for worst segment. And uh, New Dark Carnival here are all backstage in the locker room hanging out. So Bradshaw beat Conan, Vampiro aligned with Great Muta um, earlier on. And this is like the rebirth of the Dark Carnival and uh, the Road Warriors will be involved in this. So I'm really excited about this little project. Douglas Stasiak, they've had far better matches previously. And so that was disappointing. That's good. Scott Stein has got a new gimmick. So uh, he was a monster and now he's a psycho. So not much difference. Um, and he got a positive response. And he's attacked Buff Bagwell backstage and that gets their feud up and running. Obviously, these two used to be a tag team called Bad and Buff. Uh, but one's a heel, one's a face. So um, they're not going to be teaming up at the moment. And for main event, a good main event there. No one's lost over this. So... Uh, that's good, and it gives the form at top guys a run out. Overall, seventy one percent. Yeah, I, I've I thought it'd do better than that, but don't forget we've had five guys debuting on this show. Four of them who aren't over at all for Rachies and uh, for Haas, so um, it'll do them a lot of good. Um, WWF signed Marty Janity. Ah, oh, look at that. WWF have signed Hulk Hogan to a written contract. Hulk Hogan would not sign a written contract with WCW, but at least, well, Hulk Hogan's just not going to appear now. It's just a, it's a good, um, it's just as well that he's not in any feuds at the minute. So we have not got Hulk Hogan anymore. But I think that'll work out well because he's nearly fifty now, and um, we are looking to the future. Do we do we have to sign for Patriot? 5.13, good rating. Okay. It won't tell me what Hulk Hogan's on uh, with the WWF contract wise, because I offered him, for most I could offer was 300,000, and that was just per appearance. Uh, Taz and Samu, Derek King, who is Derek King? Why is he not in the development territory? Who's he a tag team with? Does he not want to be in? That's really weird. Maybe I just signed him and I forgot to put him in the development territory. Let's just send him to development. Um, he, yeah, he's okay. Let's have a look at the unhappy workers. Lance Storm didn't appear in the last show, but he's gone up to 4%. So there you go. Missy Hyatt. Um, she obviously isn't happy at the minute. Samu, Taz, got at least one of them, maybe both of them, um, debuting in the next, um, on the next show. So let's just have a look. Adam Flash, 42. I think that he's gone over from what he was even before that match. And Danny Rose is. A 41. What about for Haas? Charlie Haas, 42. And Russ Haas, I think he was 35 before. Something like that. So he, I think he's gone up to 38, so that's good. Uh, pleased with that. And for Dark Carnival, what's Vampiro gone up to? He's gone up to a 72. Great Muta was 80, still 80. So I'm really pleased with uh, how this is going. Let's... Oh, we've got an incident. Oh, already Russ Haas has been sidelined with an injury. I've only just signed him. Um, damn, it's for eight months. So Charlie Haas. Um, yeah, that is really disappointing. And I only really wanted Charlie with Russ. Maybe I'll send Charlie back to development territory. Because he was in there anyway, and I don't think he had a um, he, he had a problem with that development territory. Oh, Derek King is ready to be promoted to full roster. That's why, um, yeah, we'll bring him back then. Okay, uh, we'll conclude the show, and we'll be back for showdown very shortly. <laughs> 